Hey, baby dolls, quick message for you. So in crypto, you're watching a rift happen right now. There are two sections of crypto friends, just like we have the internet. There's people who watch porn, and then you have everybody else. Okay, now the porn people, maybe you're watching some porn right now. Maybe I rudely interrupted you. Sorry. Okay, so that's about 33% of the internet is just straight up people just watching naked people on the internet. All right. And in crypto, so remember that number, 33% of people are just pornography watchers. All right. In crypto, 25% is meme coin speculation degeneracy. It's crazy. They're around roughly the same. In crypto, the other 75% is boomer grandpa DeFi. It is Aave, money market locked, uh, staking, you know, like Lido Dow. It's 75%. It's all the what we consider the boring stuff, like stable coin stuff. That's actually what it is. So if you want to look at the crypto use case, now here's the thing. When's the last time you took your pants off and got like a boner for Lido Dow? Wow, golly gee, I'm going to own 4.2% of my Ethereum. Wow. No one cares about that. You don't understand. Or what about you uh, jumping for jelly beans because, oh, wow, the uh, the stable coin supply rate went from like 12% to 14%, even though you know it's going to probably drop down back in three months. You don't give a shit about that. Yeah, we, we, we like, we want to see, okay, Dick with butt, he's got a wife now. Where'd that appear from? Okay, your 500K market cap. You just did literally a 13X. What happened there? Oh my gosh, what's happening over here? <laughs> that's the type of stuff that's that's surprising us, okay? Now, in crypto, the VCs, the suits, the scum, the snakes, they are packaging stuff to try to make sure that it looks like, falsely, makes it look like a, a traditional boom of finance tech. That's what they're doing. So there are people, they're packaging up AI, they're packaging up restaking and Igon layer and all these other stuff. They're trying to package it. They're trying to like jam it into our throats as blue chip, blue tech stuff. But the people aren't buying it. Or maybe they do buy it. It's just going to take a while for these things to rinse out and play out their cycle and survive. Okay. Now, the problem though is even if they are blue chip techs, their valuations start so high, you and I can't do anything. We can't change our lives. So it's changing somebody's life. It's changing the VC inside a scum subhuman fuel soy boy virgin at cucks who are supplying the token and who made all of those and everybody who's getting all the VC insiders to participate in the ICOs and they're handing it out to ETH maxis and other types of maxis. They're also handing it out to YouTube influencers who are talking about coins. I'm looking at all of you with like over 100K subs, friends. Uh, please tell me and my people why you're talking about coins that have no token out. Oh, I can't, I can't figure it out. Maybe you are part of the ICO. Maybe you are intending to shill me your dog shit at 3.8 billion fully diluted from day one. I don't know. So it will happen, by the way, friends. Mark my friends. Mark my words. They're doing it now. So that's what they're doing, friends. You can't change your life with that. They change their life with that. It's just a sad game. Okay. So the influencers, the insiders, the VCs, and all the people, the brokers, and the networks, and all this scum, they win. Okay. They're winning that. We are revolting against that. We can't touch their stuff because you will just exit liquidity for them. They all have to sell. They have like, basically, they want to get out. If you buy in, you're placing a bid at a super high valuation. They're just chipping you away over time. Look at the chart for Starkware, dog shit, and all these other ones. For example, here is STRK, Stork, Starkware, dog shit. You know what I mean? This is it. it. Looks like the same junk. Here we go. Come back down. It's the same thing, friends. All the same. They all look the same. Doesn't even matter if it's the right one or wrong. You know exactly what time it is. Okay. Fully diluted. 13 billion. Haven't released any coins yet. As you can see on the page here, look at the top left here, friends. Look at market cap is around a billion, but fully diluted 13 billion. Okay. Because they've barely released any coins. So they're all doing the same thing. That That's it. You and I, we can't get in early anymore. We're done because they've already given it out. So the people are revolting to that. They will say, well, guess what? Um, we don't actually need your coin for anything. You are trying to tell us your coin is needed for governance. Poop. Uh, you're trying to tell us our coin, the coin is needed for like restaking. Poop. Or these other like fake AI stuff or whatever it is, they're throwing it out there. Some like magical use case nobody believes in. All of it is just a bunch of poop. So the people have said, guess what? We know we don't actually need your coin. We don't actually need it. It's all just like speculation. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch a meme coin from zero, all right? And we're just going to say this has got more value than your piece of poop. I wanna, I'd rather hold this because I know I'm early and it started as fair launch by the people for the people. 
And that's what we are now seeing. So friends, that's why I've made this video to show you you are now seeing a renaissance. The Tang Gang renaissance is just one example. It's all over crypto. They're just minting meme coins after meme coins after meme coins. There's cats now, and they're rugging as well on Soilana and Coinbase. There's all these other coins popping up. Tang Gang have all the fruits, the pear, the banana, the oranges, all of these. You see? All of these friends. And Dick with butt. You know what fruit is that? So all of these are appearing, and it's not the world I wanted. I know the, the world you and I really want. Like, oh, so shout out to uh, Corey. Corey from the Money Talk Show. I think it's called DeFi Alliance now with Dane. Always talk about this. Always talk about utility coins. Yeah, man. I want that world, man. Yeah, trust me. I want that world where there's utility. You understand it. People need that coin. It has a cash flow. It's stable and you get it. You think you want that world. What I'll, what I'll show you though is that world has price volatility very low and valuations very low. It's boring. People don't want to speculate. They don't want to give energy to it. And that's just basically what happens with speculation and markets and everything else. This is just how the game works. So the people have said, no, enough's enough. We're just going to keep launching this stuff. Now, trust me, I don't want that world. I would rather everyone target one coin and just one coin and one coin goes up. But what we're seeing is coins age, logos age. People want new. People want fresh. They want to throw money around. So rationally, you would think, okay, there is one coin, one ticker, one logo. People should put their money in. But actually, friends, what's happening in crypto is, this is my observation, okay? And when I tell you this, it's going to make a light bulb go off in your little head with, with mine. What happens is when there's one coin that put a certain amount of money, let's say they put like $5,000 in. When there's 10 coins around that one, and some of them are popping up, like Tangang Coins and Nine Inch and BBC and PDI, Teddy Bear, Tropa, all these other stuff popping, what you'll find is, you know that five grand people had to that one coin? They will then look outside their bank accounts to try to bring more money in. That's what I believe is happening. That's what I'm feeling is happening because it's people don't understand that it's all one market cap rotating around. We still feel like Oh, I don't want to sell this good thing. Let me I have to put money in to buy this new stuff. So it's actually gaining a product market fit. It's fascinating, isn't it? it? Remember, humans, we're meant to be rational and make rational decisions, but we're not. So put in a nutshell, if there was one coin, maybe say, all right, I got five grand in this. But now you have, say, Richard Hart coins. Now you've got Tangang, Pear, Banana, which is na na na. You have HOA, you've got Dick with Butt. Okay, you have all these fruit, rat, you have 9-inch BBC, you have all these coins circulating around, pumping, 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 moving stuff around, P-Dye as well, teddy bear, chopper. That person's five grand, they're going to feel inadequate. They might say, man, I've got another five grand coming in, I've got a DC and these other ones. That's what I'm noticing. And as you, that's why, friends, what I've actually done is explain how Soilana and the VC insiders, how they were able to drop enough money to get everyone's attention, start making meme coins to get everybody into the chain. It's crazy. It actually worked. It actually worked. They just full on went memes, meme, meme, memes. It's crazy, isn't that happening, right? It, technically, it shouldn't happen. Technically, it should be one coin, one thing. But as you get to see, right, it's basically in our world, the market's gone, okay, Bitcoin, you are the store of value, sit on the left, everything else fair game. That's what the market saw. And it's up to us to like figure out the risk curve because we know they're not all in the same picture, right? We know, okay, Ethereum is not in the same ballpark as Dick with Butt and Land Wolf. You know what I mean? Like just giving you examples, you know, okay, Ethereum is also towards the safer part of the risk curve. So it just that, that, what I've done is I've just explained to you what's been going on. Crypto is evolving to do that. That's why people's old ideas are uh, now basically withering, withering away of like, okay, one use case, one this, one that. Not people are like, no, nah, we don't care. We don't care. We're revolting against the system. Remember, friends, like I said, we start at the beginning. We'll play some nice gentle pump music just to, just to validate this idea to you. 25% of crypto is this meme speculation, the fun stuff. This is all the stuff we remember. 75% is the boring DeFi things here and there. So, 
because they're seeing the meme stuff, it feels like it's end of times. But if you actually look at the money rotating around, it is not as big as the DeFi old stuff. It's not as big as that, the boring stuff, the staking and all that, okay? But because it's so fun and it emotionally captures us so much, we think it's like everything, all right? And friends, you know this happens in the real world as well. For example, like um, the media can just put like a city, they go, hey, this like gunman went out and just started blowing people's heads off in a shopping center. And you know, they, just, they just keep focusing on that. Ah, ah. But then if you go check the violence stats for everyone in first world countries over time, crime rate has been going down because they're all getting happier, healthier. But they don't report that on news. Like no, my best friends in real life still don't believe me. I've got to show them the stat. I go, dude, you know we're having less violence over time. There's less crime. We're actually getting happier over time. I know we think we're not. I know we think we're getting more violent because they're like things happen. Like, oh, everybody's killing each other. No, no, man. It's actually we're all becoming safer. <laughs> this is this is exactly what we're seeing. What we're seeing right now play out in crypto in real time. It just has its own different quirks with how the story plays out. So what does that mean for you and me? Well, don't disregard the meme coins and altcoins. You guys, you already know this. You already know this, friends. I've been literally, literally you're preaching to the choir here. I've been telling you for so long. Do not buy these high, fully diluted piece of trash superior tech false name type of stuff shield to you unfortunately retailers are going to buy them they're all going to have all these all these co coins friends have you noticed they get listed on an exchange in two seconds it's because the exchange gets given a shitload of coins and they have these volume deals and it's, it's all a grift man it's all a grift that the people are revolting they're revolting on chain on chain where they can't stop us not centralized exchange, bull crap, where the insiders are dumping, trying to iceberg bids and offers so they can get out and dump OTC over time. Everyone's figuring that game out. It's all in the on-chain stuff. That's where the garden is really growing. Make sure you like, subscribe, build button, or catch you soon.